to my channel. Today, I'm taking y'all along with me to spend the day with me. I've already done my morning routine. I went to the gym and everything. So I just got back and hopped out of the shower. So I'm actually ready to do my skincare right now. But we got a whole like to-do list of things to do today. I actually read my phone. Let's go through that really quickly. So right now I'm about to do my skincare and just refresh my hair, get myself ready and together for the day. We're gonna sit down and do some emails. And then I also need to do some vacation and fall shopping because I got a couple vacations planned and then also fall's coming up and I'm very, very excited about it. So we're gonna do some shopping together. And then I need to do some website work today. So I'll give y'all a little sneak peek of my website that I'm literally so excited for. So that's kind of the gist of what's on the agenda today. Let's get the skincare going. Um, these are the Zoe Skin Health Complexion Renewal Pads. I use these literally every single day. This is the bougie brand that my esthetician has uh, suggested for me. And literally, I mean, do y'all see my skin? Y'all see my skin? Y'all remember what my skin used to look like? We have made it a really, really long way. Honestly, it's been like a number of things, like a combination of things that has cleared up my skin. I'm super happy with where we're at right now, so we just gotta try and keep it going. I have hormonal acne, so I feel like going to the gym, like you can Google it and everything, going to the gym it does so much more for you than just making it look good. Like it really helps to balance out your hormones and just balance you out in general. So I think that was a huge one for me. Sweating helps to detox my body and stuff. So definitely working out was a huge factor in clearing my skin and then also, finding an esthetician that I love and trust and sticking to her product recommendations. And then of course, also watching my diet. I limited dairy for a little bit. I don't kind of consume huge amounts of dairy all the time anymore. I'm not vegan though. I don't think I could ever get there, okay? It's just not, it's just not me. I love cheese way too much, but I do try to limit it wherever I can. I'm just a little bit more mindful about things that I eat and yeah so working out being a little bit more mindful about what i eat having my esthetician and spending some coin on some amazing products that will actually do amazing things for your skin that's really what has brought us here today both of the serums are also by zo skin health as well the ones that i use are the daily power defense and then i go in with the brighter life after it's a skin brightener and so in conjunction with the complexion what is this called? Complexion Renewal Pack. And then these serums and then a little sunscreen on top. Boom, that is my morning routine every single day. For sunscreen today, I'm gonna use the Murad. This is like an old holy grail favorite that I still love so much to this day. It's a mineral sunscreen, so it does, you have to put in some work to like really get it to rub in, but it is SPF 50 and it is the bomb.com. So I'm gonna use this. See what I mean? Like initially it goes on like this, but if you just Keep at it, keep rubbing it in. It'll eventually kind of fade a little bit. All right, so that is it for skincare. Now we gotta get into this hair. Let's see what it's looking like today. What are we at? We're at day four, actually. Ooh, and the curls look pretty good. Not bad for day four. And you see how good that headband trick is, literally best thing ever curls are undisturbed um this wash and go was a uh, shampoo i used bumble and bumble curl moisturizing shampoo and then for treatment i did the curlsmith double cream deep quench deep conditioner and then to style i just used the bomb astro gel uh holy grail absolutely the curls are popping so love that for me i'm not worried about having to refresh it or make it look Super perfect because I had a content creation day yesterday, so I'm not gonna create any content today. Today's more of like, like I said, an admin day. Editing, I'm gonna just be chilling at home, but we still like to look somewhat presentable because I will be posting like stories and that kind of thing, but boom, that's it. We just fluff, we fluff and go. I'm all dressed. It is time to do affirmations of the day really quick. So I love myself. The life that I want and that I dream of is already mine. I am so proud of who I am today, even though I'm so obsessed with working towards the next level of myself. I am so proud of exactly who I am today. I'm enough. I love myself. And I don't know. I'm just so, I'm proud of me today in this moment right now, period. 
So now I'm about to head down and eat really quick. I'm really excited because my parents are here, which means my mom is cooking, which means I'm about to eat really good. <laughs> so we have Bami and cook up saltfish and butter beans. Wow, if you know, you know. Big up to my Jamaican subscribers. <laughs> Okay, so I just remembered I have a ton of stuff to unbox. So, so much for not creating content today. I'm just going to do a little light work. Um, I'm going to film a TikTok unboxing. If you don't know now, you know I've been doing all of my PR unboxings on TikTok now, which has been great because I used to do IG stories, but I feel like it went away in 24 hours and then people would be like, what did you share again? But now you can always go to my TikTok and check out unboxings there. So... That's what I'm about to do for all of these products here right now. Time for another unboxing. We got a lot to go through today. Y'all also don't forget to comment below and let me know what you want to see reviews on first. Urban Decay has a She-Hulk palette. That's cute. Oh my gosh. All right, so TikTok unboxing is done. Super cute. Hershey made a little cute special guest appearance at the end, so make sure y'all go check it out. It's super cute. But while we're here, I wanna put you guys on to some new shoes that I received. Vivaya is a shoe company, and they reached out to me, asked me to pick some of my favorite shoes that I've seen on their website, and they're here. I'm so excited. How cute and classy are these? I tried them on, and they are so so comfortable literally probably the most comfortable shoes i have ever tried so these are all the styles that i picked so first this one has a beautiful like tapered uh triangle top here which i love like it's giving pointy classy vibe y'all know how much i love nudes so of course we had to get a nude pair this one has a really beautiful pattern with a round finish and then also another nude in the pointy toe style oh, it's just oh i love these and then of course we had to get a solid black rounded pair just for kind of like everyday more often type of use. The cool thing about these is that they're made with a special protection shield. So they actually repel water, dirt. They're meant to be shoes that last. As much as I love the way the shoes look and feel, I think my favorite part about Vivaya is that their footwear is actually eco-friendly. So they're actually made from recycled plastic water bottles and natural materials. They also have a special manufacturing process that uses groundbreaking 3d knit technology which actually helps to reduce production waste by over 30 percent so they've actually transformed more than 2.5 million recycled plastic bottles into comfortable and fashionable shoes and i love to see it i think that's amazing i'm always looking for small ways in my lifestyle to make sure that i'm living a more eco-conscious sustainable lifestyle so what that has looked like for me so far is like using reusable cotton pads to remove my makeup i've also moved away from buying large packs of plastic water bottles in the house instead i'm using a water filter like a big five gallon water filter it cuts down on so much plastic i was literally sick and tired of seeing the plastic waste like week after week after week from using the bottles and also starting to kind of move towards more bar soaps than plastic bottles and stuff you know so it's really nice to discover brands like vivaya who have a more eco-conscious mindset and it, you can just feel good about supporting the brand and know that you're supporting a more sustainable manufacturing process for your footwear i just think it's amazing i'm excited about these excited to style them I think where I will get the most wear out of them actually is at the airport. I be traveling frequently as y'all know I'm in a long distance relationship so constantly back and forth between Atlanta and Cayman so I think these are really gonna come in handy at the airport. I do also have a discount code for y'all so you can go ahead and shop at a discount. I just think that these are going to be the perfect transitional shoes especially right now as we're transitioning from summer to fall. I had to put y'all onto these. Now speaking of transitioning from summer to fall takes me to the next item on our to-do list today. We gotta shop, y'all. And I'm taking you shopping with me. Not physically, but we're doing online shopping together. Come on, let's go. All right, so I'm in my office now, getting ready to shop online. Um, I'm trying to be more thoughtful and like more strategic in terms of the way that I shop for clothes because I'm trying to develop a closet that is going to work for me in a way where I can mix and match pieces and feel like I always have things to wear. I love to feel nice and 
put together but not necessarily extra but like just nice and put together like oh she's cute you know what i mean my life motto is look good feel good be good and i really believe that like when all three are aligned that is where you're gonna find your best self and so i always strive to do just that so shopping is a big part of that um i will actually be going through my closet my closet right now it's full but it's full of stuff that i don't wear and i feel like i don't know there's something about this year of me being 27 that i am just blossoming into an elevated deeper more authentic version of myself and so i just feel like so much is changing as I grow, like especially the type of clothes that I wear. So I'm gonna be going through a huge closet sale, by the way. So if you don't follow me on Poshmark, make sure you follow me there. I will update y'all on Instagram and TikTok as well. Uh, I will be putting a ton of really nice fall pieces out there that I, I just feel like I've personally outgrown or I've worn them. It's had its moment and it's time for the next thing you know what i mean so yeah i'm excited to stock up on some new things for this fall i made a couple notes actually this is how thoughtful and strategic i'm trying to be about my online shopping um so this is what i'm feeling for fall vibes okay first of all i'm feeling pops of color i'm seeing like a monochromatic icy blue kind of fit vibe i'm feeling pink so what i'm looking at doing is buying more basics in neutrals whites blacks and then getting like more statement pieces like dresses and some jackets maybe even accessories in really fun colors so that's kind of the vibe that i'm feeling i'm also feeling as much as i'm feeling like pops of color i'm also feeling like all black is kind of coming back for me at least i don't know i can't speak i'm not all about like oh what's trending in the world like yes i'll look at it and stuff but in terms of what i'm gonna wear and what i'm gonna buy i'm going for what literally feels good to me not necessarily like what's everybody into these days um so i for me ever since especially like going back to my natural dark hair i love the way black looks on me when my hair was highlighted it was a little bit different i didn't really like to wear black but now black is a whole vibe it's a moment with my natural hair color so loving that i want to get some more like upgraded uh all black pieces shoes um jeans body suits knit sweaters all the things in black because you just can't go wrong with that um i'm also really really going to pay attention to mixing materials I picture a leather jacket but also like a knit sweater underneath and then either like denim or like linen pants those are all very different materials but mixing them together gives like an entire vibe so i love that idea and so i'm going to be very mindful about that um what else are we gonna do i love 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 all year round honestly oversized outerwear so i need new more fresh like upgraded options for oversized outerwear and i'm not just talking necessarily like big like thick coats i'm talking jackets i'm talking um leather jackets i'm talking vibes i just love me some really good outerwear um i also have actually learned a lot about what looks good on my body i'm continuing to learn and figure that out but i've realized for my body which i am going to plan to post more tiktok videos in detail about this actually it's on my list um before i have a short torso i am not bbl curvy i'm all natural and beautiful but i'm not like super curvy but i'm also not super slim either because i've got some thighs on me <laughs> i've got a little teeny like little booty action that's slowly growing um and then my short torso and really long legs i love my legs so i like skirts that have like a really nice high slit um but in order to also give me like a little bit more of an illusion of curves i like to do um more like loose pants and then with like a nice cropped top that is a whole vibe on me um you guys have been seeing me all summer i have been wearing bell bottom pants as well those look really good because again with the fitted top it like fits my thighs and everything and then it flares out at the end which gives you the illusion of a curve my doorbell just rang please hold i think it's our gardening people okay i'm back where were we so that's basically kind of what i'm going for and like i said i made sure to have my little list of notes because 
Oh, it is easy to get sidetracked. So I am going to first open up a bunch of tabs with all the stores that I typically shop from. And then we're gonna go through them kind of one by one. I'm gonna share a couple of things that I am actually gonna purchase, which I kind of like because a lot of times when I purchase things, by the time I wear them, take pictures in it, and then go live with the content, a lot of times those things are already out of stock, which is so frustrating for y'all, I know. So this is a great way because I'm literally shopping right now. So if y'all see something and are like, girl, I gotta snag that too, we're good. So I saw Linda, shout out to you girl. I saw her on Instagram and she tried on this beautiful dress and I said, girl, you gotta let me know where you got that immediately. So first let's check out my collection. I also need to keep in mind, yes, fall vibes, but also I'm going to be traveling home quite frequently. I'm gonna be doing a birthday trip. So I need to look for some resort wear as well. As I shop, I'm gonna put some screenshots on the screen so you guys can see what I'm looking at, what I'm actually gonna purchase, and everything will also be linked in the description box below. Okay, so this is a really cute mini dress in black. I would get a size small so it's nice and fitted. Um, there's multiple ways we can wear this with oversized outerwear, with different kinds of shoes to give a different kind of vibe, like sneakers versus boots versus heels, you know what I mean? Even slippers, like on a more casual day, so we're definitely going to add to cart. This is something that's trending right now, which is these like fitted sculpt maxi dresses. I think I'm gonna get it. Typically, I wouldn't go for something like this for my body type because I don't have like the super huge curves and stuff, However, I do think it could still be a vibe and I just know my fiance is gonna absolutely love to see me in this dress. So, add to cart. Okay, I think I might also try this one because I'm obsessed with this color, the chocolate. I am gonna get this one. They only have an extra small left, but it's only 10 bucks and it does say it's super stretchy and they actually recommend sizing down. So I'm just gonna try an extra small. I haven't been an extra small in a long time, but We'll see. Is it just me or have people like brands not started putting out fall stuff yet? Okay, let's look at ASOS. Oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, found a really dope leather jacket. Obsessed. Quilted, the puffer, the vibe. Ooh, I'm loving this. It's giving like casual. I didn't try, but it's dope. And you're not gonna find a leather jacket that looks like this just any and anywhere, so I love that. Oh, this is a cute bodysuit. Kind of like one of those basic pieces like a staple that i would keep in my closet and i love the asymmetric vibe you can kind of dress that up or dress that down i think i'm gonna go for a size four because i'm usually a small in bodysuits and fitted items and stuff so add to cart that would actually look cute paired with this uh leather jacket that we just saw huh. all right let's check lily's closet um I'm careful when I'm shopping at Lily's Closet because their return policy is different. First of all, you gotta pay for shipping to send it back. And then second of all, you don't get a return, you only get store credit. So it's kind of like, why would you even go through the trouble of doing all that? So when you buy stuff from here, I, I just always make sure that it's something that I'll like or that it's something that one of you guys might like. If, if it doesn't fit me or if it doesn't like just work for me or whatever, I can stick it on Poshmark and y'all will like it. This skirt is kind of a vibe, yes. We can do some things with this skirt. I love how they styled it with those thigh high boots. That black bodysuit we just picked up would look cute. Um, this is a vibe. Okay, add to cart. I'm noticing I am getting a lot of black. We don't wanna get too sucked into the black. Okay, so I'm scrolling through. Lily's closet seems to have more pops of color items that could work for both summer and fall, but nothing that I'm like, ooh, obsessed with, you know? And I'm a very feelingsy person. I always say I need to have feelings for whatever I'm purchasing. Like I need to feel it in my soul. If it doesn't make me excited, if I can't immediately think like, okay, I can wear it with this, this, and this, it's gonna be a no for me. Okay, this feels like one of those outfits that you need to just have in your closet. Like, you don't know where exactly you're gonna wear it, but it's gonna come in handy one of these times. And it's a vibe. Like, I feel like maybe one of our influencer events or something, this could be cute. This is cute. I can definitely wear those pants with other items in my closet. 
but them together is really cute. I can also wear the top with like some jeans or something. Cute. And it's giving that effortless vibe where it's like, she didn't really try. <gasps> no, scratch that, forget that. I found a better set. What? It's only available in small, but this color is giving. Oh my gosh, I hope this small is gonna fit me nice and not be too tight. Okay, so this is an example of an outfit that is really cute and I love to see it on her, but this is not gonna work for me. I don't have enough hips, and so the fact that the sleeves are like so long and, and big and kind of oversized, this is gonna make me look top heavy instead of balancing me out and giving me more of an illusion of curves. Back in the day, I would have seen this and been like, cute, and then would have tried to wear it and would have been like, well, I like it, but something's just missing. That's what it is. It's just my body type is not accentuated in that kind of outfit. And that's what I mean. Like, it's so important to just know how to dress for your body. That's the best thing that you can ever learn. I am trying to stay away from Zara, but I might have to check them out because I bet you we're gonna get some really dope outerwear pieces from Zara. All right, so I think that's gonna be it for Lily's Closet. So we have a cart at Matte Collection, ASOS, and Lily's Closet so far. I don't think that I have the patience to go through Pretty Little Thing right now. Pretty Little Thing, you gotta spend a couple hours on their site, go through, zoom in look at the material i've gotten so many orders from there that just pissed me off and every time i'm like i'm never shopping there again but the prices are so good right so it's like oh maybe i'll just try it one more time and then it's just you got to be careful what you order from there it's just so frustrating so the last place i'm going to check out is zara <laughs> okay i can see lots of transitional items Zara is starting to bring in long sleeves. Zara is just always on it. They're ready. They know. And it's just always my vibe. Always. Okay, see this jacket is cute. It's different, but of course it's coming soon. I can't even add it to my cart yet. So annoying. <gasps> Why am I so obsessed with this jacket right now? It's a jewel denim jacket. Oh my gosh, it reminds me. Do y'all watch um, P Valley? It kind of reminds me a little bit of the jacket that Mercedes was wearing. I think it was like in one of the last, the last most recent episodes. And I was like, oh, I love that jacket. It's not the same, but it's a similar vibe. And it's kind of cute. But are we wearing denim jackets in the fall? I mean, I could see myself styling a biker shorts and crop top outfit with this denim jacket. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I just want to buy it. I just want to buy it and style it later. Oh, you know what this would be good for as well? Traveling. I would get a medium large. Would I get a medium large or should I get? No, large, extra large is probably going to be too big, right? I think, okay, I'm going to add the large to extra large. Is that gonna be too much? A big oversized slouchy denim vibe. And then we just hold on to this in like a few years, this is gonna be vintage and everyone's gonna be like, where did you get that? And I'm gonna be like, I had it for years, this is old. <laughs> I love it, okay. I'm adding the extra large. If it's too big, we can always return it. That's the good thing about Zara is that you can very easily return it. Especially when you order online, you can just literally shove it right back in the mail and not have to stress about it. Okay, this is cute. Remember how I was talking about like more pops of colors, like some blues and stuff? This is a really nice way to add a little bit more color. Although this looks a little bit gray, it's a little bit muted for me, but it's cute. And this would actually translate really well on into winter as well, yep. Size large, add to cart, because this oversized, uh, ooh, it's gonna be so good. Yes, love that. You know what, Zara pants pissed me off. All right, I think those were all the jackets. I'm not gonna really look at coats yet, because it's not that time yet. Um, let's have a look at their basics. Ooh, okay, so you know how like white shirts were like a huge thing over summer? I think a nice black shirt. Would be cute this one is linen material this is a close-up here of the fabric i'm just gonna add it to the cart for now size large everything oversized 
There's multiple ways we can style this for sure. We can style it as a shirt itself, but also as an overshirt. All right, so I think that is gonna be the shopping I do today. I'm gonna go ahead and check out. So we're doing Matte Collection, ASOS, Lily's Closet, and Zara. I think what I need to do is wait for more fall fashion pieces to kind of drop more. I feel like people are waiting as long as possible to try and get all the summer stuff sold. So I'm just gonna wait. I am excited though to kind of get these, try them on. I will be doing more try on hauls on TikTok and Instagram. So make sure you're following me on there in case you wanna see all these items like put together and stuff <sighs> for the rest of this day it's very exciting i'm yawning because literally i have been working my butt off on my new website i'm rebranding like i said 27 has been a really crazy special amazing hard fulfilling just everything, all of the above year for me. So with all of my personal growth, that also translates into my brand because y'all know I do lifestyle. So I just share extended bits of me online. And so I just felt like this was the time for a proper in-depth refresh. I did a really dope photo shoot. I purchased an amazing website template. I have actually hired my first uh, Alyssa Marie XO LLC employee to help me out with the blog. So we are taking this serious, y'all, and I've been working my butt off. I didn't even take any time off whatsoever this weekend, which is why I am so tired, but it's so worth it. I'm actually gonna give y'all, should I give y'all a sneak peek? I'm gonna give y'all a sneak peek. I'm gonna give y'all a sneak peek. By the time you see this, I think the website will be launching in like two days. So, oh my gosh, it is a vibe. Should I show you? I'm gonna show you the homepage. Oh my God, it looks so good. It looks so good, okay. Here she is, y'all. So hey friends, welcome to a space where brown girls are seen, heard, understood, and celebrated. I'm glad you're here, sis. Ah! I'm literally so excited because it's gonna provide so much value for y'all. And it's gonna be like my main platform where everything that you're looking for, all the links, all my favorite things, my blog, and access to all of my platforms is all going to be in one place on my website and I'm so excited. So it's launching very, 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 very soon. If not already launched by the time this video goes out, depends on how my schedule goes. It can kind of be a little crazy, but to find out all the tea, you just need to sign up for my newsletter, okay? The newsletter fam, my VIP internet fam, I have a special place in my heart for y'all, okay? When you're signed up for my emails, all you're gonna receive is like monthly or even bi-weekly affirmations, exclusive news, exclusive invites, and access to secret giveaways that I'm doing that nobody else is gonna have access to. It's just for the VIP internet fan, that's it. So, make sure you sign up. I have included the link below in the description box. I'm super excited, but literally, for the rest of the day, all I'm gonna do is sit down here and work on my website, and I don't think that would make for a very interesting rest of the vlog, just seeing me sit here doing this, blah, 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 talking to myself. <laughs> See you guys, that's basically mostly the day with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you're interested in seeing more spend the day with me because we can kind of sprinkle that in here and there as well. And if you have any other video requests, make sure you comment them below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.